We better get a step show about the outfits and the doing cooking. Who you with? Ice! Hit the time! Gotcha! The very first college tour I did back in 1990, oh, you should have been there. There were nine students from Philadelphia and Camden, New Jersey. Nelson took that idea and he ran with it for 32 years. Well done, Nelson, well done. Mel Byers here, representative from the 1992 college tour. Yes, indeed. I love what I do. I do it for free. Like I said, I'm either a fool. I'm saintly fool. Saintly fool. Saintly fool. Saintly saintly fool. fool. Saintly We're fool. the Pope. We're the Pope. Yeah. I ain't even got a fee out to show for. <laughs> but still I rise. At, at the end, there's a phrase in there that says, You are the hopes and the dreams of the slaves. And that's basically why I do this. Hey, how's it going? My name is DeAndre Jones, and I'm an alumnus of Seacall. I attended the HBCU College Tour in the spring of 2001. I went and got a doctorate in educational leadership with a concentration in higher education. To this day, I'm still in communication with over half of the individuals uh, that I attended the tour with. So here it is 21 years later, and I made some lifelong friends. This college tour had a great impact on my life. Uh, the, the head start that it gave me with understanding the college enrollment process, a glimpse into student life definitely prepared me for attending college and ultimately graduating and being successful. While I attended uh, undergrad, I was a tour guide and I've been working in higher education ever since. Uh, I thought it was very cool and I was doing helping other students the way students helped me when I attended the college tour and visiting uh, many of the different campuses. So I definitely can attribute my career choice, my career path, my career success uh, to attending the HBCU college tour. So to Reverend Nelson and the Seacall organization, I want to say thank you, keep up the good work, and we appreciate you. Our oldest college tour, the one that we've been doing since the beginning, is the HBCU College Tour, which stands for Historically Black Colleges and Universities. One thing you should know about HBCUs is that you do not have to be black to attend them. They're historically black because when black folks came out of slavery, most white institutions in America did not allow us to attend. So we began our own institutions. But now why did we do the HBCU tour? In the beginning, I was working with young people who were from public housing in Philadelphia and Camden, New Jersey. And I had to ask myself, what is one way to inspire them toward excellence? And I said, you know what? I think not only should we use a college tour, but we should visit historically black college tours and universities, primarily because the students were African-American and Latin uh, at the time. It worked really well because when they would say to themselves, oh, I don't know if I can go to college. I don't know if my family's well rich enough. I don't know if we have the money. They would have young people looking right back at them at these colleges and universities and say, that's my family too. And yet I'm here at college. Hi, I'm Larice Grazier. And I want to take a minute to say thank you. Thank you to Reverend Nelson Copeland, as well as Seacall and College Visitation Charities. I was a 
member or alumnus of College Tour, either two or three. I'm not really sure. But it was way back in 1991. And backstory, I asked Nelson, may I go on the tour? He wouldn't let me go. He was like, oh, you know where you're going to college? We're, you're, you'll be fine. And I kept asking him and he finally allowed me to go on the tour, which was actually my senior year of high school. If not for the opportunity to attend this tour, I would have never found my alma mater, Jackson State University, which I'm a proud graduate of with both my bachelor's and master's degrees. I would have never had the opportunity to even live and experience living in the South because I've, I lived in the South for like 30 years. But if it was not for CECAL, College of Education Charities, and most of all, Reverend Nelson Copeland, I would have never had that opportunity. So I just want to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for giving a girl like me a chance to see something different. You really changed my life. I'm not sure where I would be in life if not for that particular college tour and that opportunity to see colleges I had never heard of. It was like I had never heard of Jackson State, and I'm so proud to be a part of the JSU family, and it's all because of Nelson Seacall and College Visitation Charities. We've had well over uh, 2,500 to 3,000 students attend that tour since our inception in 1990. Those students are doing so many things now, so many great things now. And so what we want people to know is when you register for the HBCU tour, there are a couple things that'll happen that'll definitely happen, even if it was pre-COVID or post-COVID, is that the primary book that they will read as a part of this is called The Miseducation of the Negro by Carter G. Woodson. He is the founder of Black History Month. And uh, the book is a historical book. It's been written years and years ago, but it is still very relevant to today. And all of our HBCU alumni who've gone on a week-long trip have that book in common since 1990. Hello, what's going on everyone? I'm Roxanne Lynette. I am Call alum from spring of 2000. I cannot believe it's been 22 whole years and I am forever indebted to Nelson Copeland and Seacall College Tours for making college possible for me. Prior to going to the tour, I did not think college was even possible. My parents were struggling to make ends meet and I had a teacher in high school tell me in front of the whole class that she don't see how I will be able to make it to college or even go through college or finish. And I took that to heart and I just kind of gave up on my collegiate dream until I went on the tour. For one particular time on the tour, we did this skit to where, you know, we had to pretty much say where we see ourselves in 10 years. And the only thing I could think of was to pick up a camera. So I picked up this fake camera, which was nothing. I was just literally holding the air like I was holding a camera. And I said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to do this. So fast forward some years after that, I ended up graduating from Bowie State University uh, with a Bachelor of Science in Communication, and I landed my first job at ESPN. So the fact that a woman from Southwest Philly was able to hit the ESPN stage and work on prominent shows on the network shows that anything is possible. And if it was not for C-Call, if it wasn't for Reverend Copeland, that dream would have not been possible. And so I just want to thank Reverend Copeland. I want to thank the organization for uh, letting me realize that I can do anything I put my mind to and I just want to encourage anyone out there that's watching this video if you know of a young person niece nephew grandchild you know any young person in your life that has a dream and think college is not possible I highly suggest going on an HBCU tour because it will open your eyes to so much and your child will have the, the, the want and the desire to uh, advance in life. There are thousands of alumni that can attest to that. And again, thank you very much. Peace. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Pinkson and I want to give you a, just a brief little bit about my experience with the HBCU tour. I did it a long, long time ago in high school. It was a, 
exhausting opportunity because of the sheer amount of schools that you visit in a short amount of time. I was able to see Tuskegee and Morgan State and of course Spelman College. And I already knew I wanted to go to the HBCU, but that experience definitely solidified it for me. So I hope you also had the same experience that I did, that you take the choice, that you make this jump and you enjoy the tour. Have a good one. Bye. And this is this gonna sound kind of silly to some people. But I always say you all sometimes think you're standing on my shoulders. The truth is, I'm standing on yours. College Visitation Charities. College Visitation Charities. College Visitation Charities.